Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and in our monthly Wildwood construction recap video, I told you guys that we would go back to the boardwalk to give you an update on the construction. And so we're doing that right now, and I know you're probably saying to yourself, the sun's out, it's shiny, it's a beautiful day down here, because you guys always make fun of the fact that it's always windy, rainy, or something while I'm filming my videos. Well, today wind gusts are up to 45 miles per hour, so we can't do any drone video, but don't worry, I'll give you guys a nice thorough tour of the entire boardwalk. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn the notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. And a special thank you out to my patrons on Patreon.com. It's because of you guys that get to do fun videos like this on a random Wednesday. Anyway, let's get started. Now, this is already our fifth video about this project, but let me go ahead and just kind of recap it for those who are just getting introduced to it. Right now, Wildwood is going through a multi-million, multi-year process of redoing the entire top surface of the Wildwood Boardwalk. The first project right here is going from Oak Avenue to Maple Avenue. And for the past several months, they ripped up all the concrete paths where the tram car goes. They fixed up all the concrete work and now they're currently installing the wood on top. Now you're probably saying to yourself, Joey, is the project on schedule? I've been reading things online. Something doesn't seem right. Well, Believe it or not, the project is on schedule, but things have changed just a little. The original project called for certain wood from Brazil to be brought over here. And unfortunately, due to supply chain issues and oil issues, that wood would not have arrived to the end of March, early April. Now this would have pushed back the ending date of this project all the way to the end of May, early June, which of course would not work. So instead, the city had a compromise. They had to get a different kind of wood. The new wood they had to go with is pine. It is as strong as the Brazilian one and is strong. So it's a great alternative to that Brazilian wood. Now, let me actually show you the new boardwalk. It's nowhere near done at the moment. I'll tell you that right now. You'll notice that because right here, they haven't shaved down the edges yet. There's a lot of other places they need to make sure they fasten down. You can see how they're actually laying the wood out. They're putting pieces of wood in the middle so there's enough space in there because wood expands and contracts depending on the time of year. And if you put it too close right now, it's so cold the wood is shrunk. And once it heats up, it will expand and that would not be good if you had them close to each other because they would pop up. But as of right now, this is where we're sitting at, right here. They're finished for the day. They'll be back tomorrow, but you can see they made a lot of progress since our video not too long ago, but it looks really good so far. Now, because I don't have the drone, I told you I will give you a good tour. So we're gonna jump under the boardwalk, give you a tour under there, and then walk down the beach. So this is the pine wood. It smells really, really good. And interestingly enough, we went from Brazil, made in Brazil to made in the United States. And you can see when it was cut down, March 17th, just recently, not too long ago. But let's jump under the boardwalk. Obviously, you know the song, Under the Boardwalk, Out of the Sun, Under the Boardwalk, we'll be having some fun. Let me re rewrite that song for right now. It's so cold out and so windy, but it's so warm under the boardwalk. So under the boardwalk, out of the cold and the wind, under the boardwalk, we'll be reporting on some news. Does that work? I don't, I don't think it rhymes. But this is what I wanted to share with you guys. You can see the new beams in here. This is where the tram car is going. That's a section that's kind of curved and you can see the straight parts. And underneath of it, you can see we've got four by sixes and then you have the two by fours on top. So very sturdy, nothing to worry about. A lot of people had asked me, you know, they were worried that those concrete slabs are gone. I just want to compare what the old boardwalk will, the newer old boardwalk compared to the new boardwalk. You'll see what I mean. This is the new boardwalk section here with the slabs. And if we look over here where the tram car would go, on the other side, it's just all wood. So two different methods, both as strong. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue down. You can see it again. These are the old ones, and those are the new ones. And look, a piece of the new boardwalk. It's a souvenir already. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to head down the beach this way. And you'll see that, for the most part, they clean up all the area in between. One thing to take note here, you can see that they are already installing brand new steps. That's where one step's going to be, and that's where the steps are. So hopefully the next few weeks, they'll get up to here. Maybe by Easter, be over there because we're adding the steps there, down there a little bit, a little bit more down there. But these are the first steps you're finally putting in. Looks really, really good so far. It's hard to see, but if you look over, you can see that all of the debris, it's all gone. 
They just cleaned it up just recently. They have it all in trailers over here and they're pulling it away. At this moment, literally all they need to do is you get the rest of the wood in and place it down and go all the way down to Maple Avenue. Now, while I'm over here, a lot of you guys had questions about the brand new dog park. And I'm saying brand new because this dog park has always been here. But over time, the city has realized that more and more people are using this. So in the off season, they tore it completely down and rebuilt it and made it even bigger than ever. Okay, now I actually take my dog or my parents' dog here. And let me tell you, they've added so much more to this. It's so awesome. You know, before there'd be a lot of dogs kind of on top of each other. You won't have that issue anymore. Here you can see the original fence line, but it curves out this way, curves out again, curves out again, curves out again, comes back this way. The gazebo's still in the middle. And then right here is the smaller park. It looks fantastic, right? And look at these things. I love this. This is adorable. I have another one over here as well. Look at that. The city of Wildwood always does a fantastic job when it comes to these projects. And I know that this summer, you're all gonna love it when you come down here. One cool thing is, it's hard to tell right here, but I'm pretty sure that if I was able to put the drone up in the sky, I think that they made this footprint of this entire park a dog paw print. Like imagine this small circle here, the bottom one, it curves out, curves out again, curves out again, curves out again. Right? Next time I get the drone, or oh, it's not as windy, we'll go ahead and, and look that up because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Now back to our tour, and I'm starting back over here because you'll notice all of these pipes laying here. These were the old pipes that were running all of the cable underneath the boardwalk. Currently, they are fixing all of those wires. You can kind of see this one coming in underneath, going through here, and some cable going this way. This one's disconnected at the moment, you can see right here. And over the course of the next few weeks, they'll be redoing all the electricity and the sound system, because for those who remember this past year, it was kind of off in some sections. So they're working hard on getting that done while the rest of the wood is getting done. And now we're on the other side of the boardwalk. You can see it's very different over here. They haven't started on that top layer yet, but not too much more to go. You can see it looking down. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for joining me. I'm so sorry we couldn't do the drone. It's just way too windy. But if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And a special thank you out to my patrons on patreon.com. You too can support this channel. All you have to do is click the links in the description below. Anyway, I'm Joey. As always, I'll see you on the beach, which uh, if I pan over this way, definitely not a beach day. But I'll see you later. Bye.